This is X Snipes Gaming here on NHL 17. We are doing another episode of our Edmonton Oilers franchise mode Road to the Stanley Cup. As you can tell, 29, 29, and 6. Not the greatest. We are only 6 points out of a playoff spot. But I don't want to have that last playoff spot. I want that second or in the playoffs. So you can tell there's a three-way tie for second place. And we're only 10 points out of that. Last episode, I traded for him, Vander Kane. Played a couple games. He got two points in three games. McDavid seemed to get a couple more points. Everything looks good so far. Hopefully it could stick. If not, well, our season's down the hall because the trade deadline has passed. Can't do much more than that. So we got 18 more games to play. We'll slim nine. Go look at the stats and then slim nine. See if we get in another playoff spot. Hopefully we do. So that's six, nine right here. We got a home and home against Colorado there. We need to beat the Pacific Division though. That's our biggest goal in these final 18 games. Against Detroit, we get a 7-2 win. There's our offense. 13 goals in two games. That's what our offense needs. A 3-2 win. Solid goaltending. If we give up two goals, then that's it. Perfect. Shootout win. There's three wins in a row already. Slim in these nine games. Against Montreal, 3-2 win. Dallas. We get a 6-2 loss. Goaltending horrible. Whatever. Versus Boston. We get a 4-3 overtime win. Crucial two points. Against Vancouver, we need this win. A 4-1, that's crucial. LA, we need a win. 5-2 loss, that's ho bad. Anaheim, 2-1 win. 3-2 shoot or 3-2 win over Colorado. This LA game should have won, but you know, can't win every game. So in that one, we went 2, 4, 6, 8. I skipped. I skipped. Okay, I skipped 10 games. But 8 out of 10, that moves us to 37, 31, and 6. Let's go check where we sit. And that's what I like. We, Vancouver went on a losing streak. We're in the second wild card spot. The other three teams kind of went on a winning streak too. Calgary didn't that much. But we're 5 points out of the first wild card. 6 points out of... Second and 11 out of first with eight games left to go. This is crunch time for the boys. The boys need to pull it out. Connor McDavid, he was at 49 points, went up to 62 in that stretch. That's what we need. Jordan Everly, 49 points. Lucic, 47. Kane got 10, I believe. Hopkins 41. Larson and Sekra 36-33 represent Lee. Dry Settle needs to pick it up. Pulley RV 29. He's starting to go with McDavid. Not there quite yet. Desjardins playing on the fourth line. 29 points. Kazian 25. Maroon 23. Colin Greening has 17. He hasn't played for us yet. That was the guy we got in a trade. Matt Benning 8. Nurse, six. As long their plus minuses aren't the greatest as a third line pairing. But right now, it is what it is. Let's go check our goalies out here. See how Cam Talbot is doing. Cam Talbot, 260 goals against. Ray Emery, 10 games, 243, 5-2. Talbot, 31, 25, 3 overtime losses. Save percentage has been kind of slipping for Talbot. But you know what? If he could keep winning us games, I don't care. Ray Emery, 926. Two shutouts for Talbot and no points each. Emery was an 81 when I picked him up. 82 now. Good to see. Maybe he is our backup until we draft one. So let's go. We need... To stay, we're actually going to go see the entire Western Conference right now. Because we need to see how close 
Yeah, see, St. Louis, 76 points behind. So Calgary, or wait, let's look at this. Calgary, LA, San Jose would be the teams for us. Oh no, Calgary, LA, Anaheim, San Jose, and us wildcard teams. So many, Colorado, St. Louis are already there. So as long as we stay four points ahead of Vancouver and seven in front of Chicago, we're in a playoff spot. This is heating up, eight games left. Let's try winning six out of those eight. That should make us a playoff team by the end of this. All right, we got a lot of crucial games coming up. So let's slim through this. Against Colorado, we need this win here. We get a 4-2 win. That's what I'm talking about. Amateur scouting done. We're going to go to OHL for six weeks. Forwards, we're looking for that diamond and rough winger. LA, 3-2 win. That's big. These games are crucial. 5-4 loss. That's heartbreaking. If it would have been overtime, I'd be fine with that. And I'm 3-1 win. Perfect. Now let's go play LA one more time this season. And we get a 4-3 overtime loss. There's that point. Stay ahead of Vancouver. There's a 5-2 win. Perfect. We've only lost one actual game. We can... A can't afford to lose anymore. 5-1 and 4-2. We're going to be close. We finished with a 42-33-7 and seven record. Is that good for a playoff spot? And it is. We snuck in, I believe. We'll go look at... See if anyone's even close. And we did clinch it. We would be playing... Go Western Conference. We are playing the Calgary. Oh no. That's. Yeah. We would be playing the Calgary Flames. Damn. Where'd LA go? Oh, LA's in there. Yeah. Most of the Pacific made it. But we are playing the <laughs> Calgary Flames. Wow. That should be a great first round. I can't wait for that. Sorry, just texting a girlfriend back. Alright. So McDavid ended the season with 73 points. Not what I was expecting from him. Everly 56, Kane 50. He, started, he got 18 points since the trade deadline. Plank with McDavid. Can't complain about that. Lucic, 49. We had three 20 goal scores. Hopkins, 47. Larson, 41. Dry settle. 37 points only. Don't know what to do with him. 34 for Secker. 33 for Pooley Arby. Pooley Arby didn't play with McDavid all season. Could be different. Days or nay. He was a fourth liner. Same with Kazin. 33 and 30. Kajula 30. Maroon went down. Russell 21. Clefbaum 20. Benning 9. Nurse 6. Let's go check these goalies out before we start the first round. 36, 27, 3 for Talbot. 258. Ray Emery, 243, 5 and 2, so he didn't play any of the last games. 919, 926, two shutouts, and Talbot got a point. Alright, so we do play our rival, Cal the Calgary Flames. We got a morale meeting here. Go see what that's about. And it's a Vander Kane. When you are as good as me, recent performance like these just are just the norm. Let's just go like that. Happy. That's all I want. I want Evander Kane to be happy. Larson's upset. Well, 
Can't please everyone. Grabber went down to 78. I do have injuries off. I switched that. So that's, we don't need that 7th defenseman. And I believe we're playing Calgary first. Yes, we are. It is the Battle of Alberta. First round playoffs. I was hoping that would be the scenario this year. But it didn't turn out and Calgary got knocked out by Anna and blah, blah, blah. We do have a Battle of California too. And we got Washington Pittsburgh in the first round. That should be a good series. This looks like a good playoffs. Hold a team meeting. And we are going to go. Today is game one of the series. And it doesn't matter who you are. We need to play hard as a team. I like that. Well, they didn't, but Gravin Hopkins did. Whatever. Don't like what I have to say? Get out of town. All right. We're going to slim this game. And we're going to go with the goals. We're going to slim the period. And Calgary takes a 2-1 lead. Nick Ritchie for us. Troy Browler and Michael Furleek for the Flames. Slim again. 2-1 going in the third. And let's get her going. We're going to do this for the third period. Slim by eight times. We get six shots. Or 16 shots, sorry. We're getting outshot. And Troy Brower scores again. We need shots, boys. It's only game one. But we need to score. Curtis Lazar scores for Calgary. And that's the game. 4-1 loss to the Flames. The boys need to come up clutch next game. And we are going to slim this game here. Alright. 1-1 one, one, and Vander Kane, Michael Backlund. 4-2 Calgary, Drake Kadu. Kadrula scores for us. Lance Boma, Matthew Kachuk, and Christopher Stieg scores for Calgary. We are not game badly outshot this game, thank God. But we need to score. And there we go. There's Lucic. 4 3. Can the boys come back and win this game? There's a power play. They better score on that. No, they don't. Two minutes left. They probably pull their goalie. And Matthew Kachuk seals it. And so does Mark Giordano. We lose 6-3. to three. We are down two games to none. We need a comeback. Let's slim to the next game. Can't be down 3 nothing going into the... We are playing at home now. So hopefully that works for us. Dry Settle versus Bennett. Slim this. 4 1 Oilers. Russell, Kajula, McDavid, Lucic for Edmonton. Gaudreau for Calgary. Slim again. 10 1. What is this? We come home and we start scoring. Hopkins, Pooley Arby, Hopkins, Everly, Pooley Arby, Clefbaum. I don't even think we need to watch the third period. Slim and complete. A 10 1 performance at home. In a playoff game. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Slim to this. Can they get back in the series? Or was that just a diamond in the rough? We are going to slim this. And I think the Bakerfield, Bakersfield actually got into the playoffs. And we take a 3-1 lead. Drysaddle, Richie, Kane. Everly scores to make it four. We are going to watch this period. Anything could happen down or up 4-1. Can we tie this series? It seems like whoever outshoots the other team wins the game. We are outshooting them right now. Might have opened my mouth too early, but who knows. And I believe that's probably going to be the game we might get empty net. Yeah, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. 
Makes it 5-1, and that's the game. 15 goals in two games with only allowing two goals. That is what I'm talking about. We came back, tied this series. It looks like Anaheim is on the verge of losing two, but we are going back to Calgary where we lost the first two games. Can we get by? Looks like Cal er, San Jose and LA are tied in their series. Skip here, 2-1 Patrick Maroon for us. All right, third period. We do not want to go down 3-2. Three 3-1 to two. Three, one, Calgary. I, there we go. There's Hopkins from a, the point. There's Hopkins again from the boards. 3-3. Three, three. Come on, boys. Pull it out. Pull it out. Overtime. Here we go. Oh, oops, I slimmed the period. That was my bad. No one scored in that overtime. This is overtime number two. Calgary is out shooting us 46 to 33. Can the boys pull it out? And they do. Desjardins, overtime winner. Wouldn't be the first time I've been saying that. Desjardins this year against San Jose. But there we go. We take a commanding 3-2 series lead going back to Edmonton. That is what I'm talking about. Let's see if our home home wins are coming. Minnesota sweeps Anaheim. We are going to simulate this game. Dry settle versus Monaghan. Let's go. No goals in the first. 1-1. One, one. Nick Ritchie. Sam Bennett. We need one goal. We only have 12 shots. Need to be more shots. There we go. Of course, it's McJesus with the second goal. They just need to hold it out. Score another one and play solid defense. Talbot has their back. Seven minutes left. Power play Calgary. No. There we go. Three minutes left. Can they pull it together? And they do. And the Oilers come back two, down 2-0 two in the series to win 4-2. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's go look at the three stars of this game. Cam Talbot, 29 saves. McDavid, Nick Ritchie. That's what we want. That is phenomenal. And we'll simulate date to the next series. Or just slim the day, I guess. San Jose beats LA. Pittsburgh loses to the Caps. Both Pennsylvania teams are out with Philly losing to the Florida Panthers. We have three game sevens left to go. Ottawa wins. And the Montreal Canadiens win. And the Chicago Blackhawks do. Here we go. San Jose. Round one. I'm going to keep this going until we're out of here. This is going to be a longer video, but it's I'm psyched for this. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm so psyched that I'm not even knowing what I'm doing. Simulate up to the day. And we are going to simulate this game. And one nothing with Logan Couture scoring. Drake Kajula. And here we go. Milan Lucic scores. 2 1 Edmonton. Oh, Dawn scores, scores though. Game side 2 2. We don't need another overtime. San Jose scores with four minutes left. Patrick Marlowe. Can the boys pull it out? No, they can't. And they give up a late period goal. Lose three to two. Boys, what are you doing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slim games so we don't have to watch every game there. So we're going to slim the first threes just so we don't get eliminated. 4-2 loss. 5-2 win. 
So we're down two games to one. We can go here. Oh, there we go. Series is tied 2-2. Two, two. Is this 3-2? Game six. Can the boys come out and win this game? It's do or die now. Slim the first period. 2-1 Oilers. Nick Ritchie. Oscar Clefbaum. Slim again. Patrick Marlowe scores. This could be the final period of this season. And Patrick Marlowe scores right at the beginning. Can the boys come back and force game seven? Or is this the end of the season? Eight minutes left. And there we go. There's a Vander Kane. Six minutes left. Two minutes. Can they score one quickly? No. We are going to overtime. This is do or die. Can they pull it out of their hats? San Jose's getting a lot of shots. I'm kind of scared here. It's that one final. That's one shot that goes in and that be game. And Patrick Marlowe completes the hat trick. And the Edmonton Oilers are eliminated from the 2017 Stanley Cup. What can you say? They fought hard. We had a lot of problems halfway through the season where we were, our record was good. And then we went through a dry spell and then we were under. That's where the whole trades came in. But what can you do? We got outplayed. We'll see who's in free agency, who we can draft. But that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, I know I got really talkative, hyped. But if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave a like, and make sure to check out all the videos. I'm trying to make a playlist out of these. So anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.